percent of our mysticism in America has come from the old ancient English Celtic magicians. Uh, Merlin the magician with his magic wands, and all the, the magicians always have their magic wands. Magic wands were always made out of Hollywood. And Hollywood has been used for many years to manipulate your thinking, to explain mystical subjects to you, and to prepare you to accept certain mystical uh, premises. A classic example, and, I, and I'm not in any way uh, belittling the work, but uh, it's very important to understand Steven Spielberg and George Lucas's work with the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, because you can't understand the Last Crusade if you don't understand the First Crusade. And if you understand that the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, who was the Raiders of the Lost Ark uh, fighting against? It was the Nazis. Interesting, too, in the uh, Star Wars, uh, according to the Masonic reference works that you can get in any library, the, uh, <clears throat> the Freemasonic orders of Europe said that there was a little ideologue, a little spiritual entity that gave the knowledge to what the Masons call our hidden masters. That's what Freemasonry re refers to those who lead world Freemasonry. They don't know who they are. No, no Freemason knows who the, the actual leaders of the world organization are. They call them our hidden masters. Well, according to the reference works, there is a little spiritual entity that, that guides the world Freemasonry, and they call him Yoda. And in the, and in the reference works, you'll see this little creature with the, with the pointed ears, and he's called Yoda. Yoda goes back to Judah, or Judah, which goes back into British Israel world Freemasonry, going back to the time of... Uh, of the founding of England, and that's why they're today called British. The British, it's a very big difference between being English and British. Brit is Hebrew for contract or a covenant, and Ish means man in Hebrew. Therefore, British is the covenant man or man of the so new covenant. So we're talking about Star Wars. So we're talking about Star Wars. We're talking about the evil empire. The uh, and empire uh, strikes and, uh, back. Uh, and with the empire striking back, New York is the empire state. We're talking about the new empire of New World, America, striking back at Europe in two world wars to overthrow the old Roman dynasties in Europe to take over the world. So what we're saying here is that there is a war going on between gangs to see who's going to ultimately be on the top of the pyramid. New world order can emerge, a new era, freer from the threat of terror, stronger in the pursuit of justice and more secure in the quest for peace.